that America is collapsing. This is a situation, this is really, really bad. What's going on guys? I wanna say thank you to the people who bought training. Thank you to the people who are about to buy training. And thank you to the Nerd Tribe for your well-constructed comments. I've been thinking, the collapse of America starts with the fall of men. In my last video, or one of the earlier videos where I was talking about the most dangerous animal on the planet is the broke, single, sexless male. And I've been thinking about that video quite a bit. And I'm just like, how did we get to this point? Because for a man to find a girlfriend, that's not hard or it shouldn't be hard. Let me put it this way. I was having a conversation with one of my friends and we were just talking about the old days. Like if you wanted to call a girl, you actually had to gather up the courage to go approach her and ask for her number. You had to, there was no sliding in the DMs. There was no Facebook. There was, there was none of this stuff. And what I feel is happening. No, I am certain that this is happening because from a social economic standpoint, you can coast in the United States of America. You could literally coast and what do I mean by coasting? You will have a place to live, you will have food, you will have something to drive. May not be the best neighborhood, may not be the best car, but you can make it, you can make it. With this, America used to be hard. If you wanted to eat, you had to farm, you had your hunt. You had to, for a long, long time, to be able to make it in America, you had to work. There was no coasting. If you wanted to make it as a farmer, you had to get out there and plow the land and plant the seeds and grow the crops. If you were, you know, turn the century, you had to go to the city, you had to work in the factory. There was no way for you to be a man and just coast. It wasn't in the cards. It wasn't possible. It wasn't part of the DNA. And with this, there became certain expectations. When I was a young boy, virtually every guy lifted weights. Virtually every guy had, because there, there was these things, these DP weights that you could get from Sears. They were plastic and they had semen in them. From that to cast iron weights, it was nothing to see a bench press bench in someone's garage or on someone's porch. It was men inherently knew that they wanted to get stronger from a physical standpoint, from a financial standpoint, from a mental standpoint. Men knew that they wanted to be stronger and men operated on the principle of getting stronger and working. When I was a certain age, I could not wait to turn 16 so I could get a job. Couldn't wait. And now we have legions of men who actively choose not to work. They actively choose not to be gainfully employed. And this environment of coasting, this environment where we have men who are not looking to work, who are not looking to produce, who are not looking to build, who are not looking to get married and create families. This, in my opinion, is the beginning of the collapse because the natural order of the universe is atrophy which means that things come apart. You've seen that house on the side of the road that no one's lived in for decades and the house is literally caving in on itself. This is what's starting to happen to a segment of America. When I say the collapse of America, I talk about from the turn of the century when you could be a country boy from Alabama, move to Detroit, work in a Ford plant or Pontiac or GM plant and within 24 months be living a middle-class life, meaning you would be able to buy a house, 
if you chose to meet a woman and get married and have children, you were able to support a family. That America is gone because the opportunities for men are not what they used to be. When I was a boy, there were so many ways to make money. One of the things that I used to do is go to the old folks and ask for their bottles. Because back in the day, you could take used Coca-Cola bottles, turn them in and get money. You could go around literally picking up aluminum cans and take them to the recycling. So from re returning in the Coke bottles to picking up aluminum cans to doing errands to cutting grass. When I was a child, there was numerous ways for young men to make money. That's gone. And I don't know if because things have changed so dramatically, but the incentive for men to be stronger physically, mentally, and financially, it's just not there. It's just not there. Now, when I say the collapse of America, we're talking about the collapse of widespread opportunity. Now, I'm going to kind of speak out of both sides of my mouth here because there's, there's still widespread opportunity, but there's not widespread just show up and make money opportunity. There's a lot of opportunities in America, but you need skills. You need skill sets. You need certain levels of education to take advantage of these opportunities. It's not going to happen unless you actually do the self-education, the self-learning. It's going to be very, very hard. I will speak to if you can develop the skill sets to produce videos, you can become a millionaire with YouTube. That's a thing. That's a real thing. However, let me go ahead and give you an example. There's 117 million YouTube channels. 117 million. There's 336,000, but I think there's literally 600, maybe 700 YouTube channels with over a million. And then when you start getting to 10 million, there's like 50 and when you get to uh, so what I'm saying is let's go back to that number let's go back to that number of 362,000 with a hundred thousand subscribers um depending upon what niche you're in because believe it or not you can make ten thousand a month from a YouTube channel if you're in the financial personal financial segment if you get enough views uh, so it's not so much about subscribers but any way you look at it 117 million did that 90 percent of people on youtube do not get a thousand views for their video 90 percent. so it's something that you have to become skilled in the opportunity is there but you must have the skill sets to take advantage and that's what i mean there's opportunity but it's not like my uncle martin who left alabama moved to detroit went to work in the pontiac factory that kind of opportunity is gone it's it's completely gone and it makes it hard to excel in America and one of the reasons I think that Dave Ramsey is so successful and this this kind of echoes how America used to be Dave Ramsey sells a program called the baby steps I think it's seven baby steps and with the baby steps these are things that you can literally show up and do they're not super hard from a discipline standpoint that takes work but they're not super hard and in America used to be a place where you could excel by just literally showing up, literally just showing up. And now for you to excel, you need specialized skill sets. Mark my words. And I said this a few years ago. I said um, about 10 years, the majority of NFL quarterbacks will be black. Right now we have 10 NFL teams, 30% of the NFL 
with starting black quarterbacks. And if you look at the college ranks and you see what's coming out, you're seeing more and more and more black quarterbacks at every level, on every team. Now, it's not going to be easy. The NFL is a reflection of America in many ways. Used to be if you were naturally talented and some people will be so exceptionally athletically talented, they'll still make it to the NFL. But the Bryce Youngs, the if you look at it and you go you go to the internet and Google this, all of these division one quarterbacks go to quarterback camps. And if your mom and dad don't have the money to send you to those camps, you will not be able to become a D1 quarterback in the future. All of these D1 quarterbacks are gonna go through these quarterback camps and you've already seen it. You're starting to see the sons of former NF NBA and NFL players now in the league because they had that environment and they had that money to go to these skill set camps to participate at the D1 level. You will have people who come out of college that are not D1 that make it into the NFL, but it's going to get very, very rare. It's going to get practically impossible. And that's what's happening to America. For you to get into certain things, if you do not have the specialized training and these skill sets, uh, you won't make it. Just like, mark my words, 10 years from now, the majority of, you know, 10 years from today, the majority of the NFL quarterbacks will be black. And the dual threat, the ability to throw and the ability to run will be normalized. It will be normalized. Because if you look at the NFL, for many, many years, it was the era of the pocket quarterback of a quarterback who could stay in the pocket and make accurate throws. Jalen Hurts, prime example. Jalen Hurts is a quarterback that can make accurate pinpoint throws and he also can run. Josh Allen, who's not black, same thing. Josh Allen can throw it and Josh Allen can run it. This will be the norm in the NFL. And in the future, if you're a quarterback who cannot throw with accuracy and you cannot run, you will not make it to the NFL. And this is kind of what's happening to America. Once again, we will see these people who are making it. We will see these people who are, are ascending to these lofty positions, but it's going to be out of range for the average person. And this new America, once again, when I say the collapse of America, I mean the collapse of easy show up opportunity. That's gone. That's gone. And what you're going to see is a hyper segmentation of the social classes. I was listening to a video where a guy was talking about how he moved from Atlanta and he said it was the classism which was worse than racism. You're going to have a bunch of engineers, IT people, Internet people who are just not going to want to hang out with a guy working in the warehouse. The hyper segmentation of class is going to be even more pronounced in the future than it is today. And it's already pretty pronounced because this is what's happening to men because of the sentiment of being able to show up, seize opportunity, make money and be in the upward mobile trajectory is literally gone. It's literally gone. And I, the way that I see it, the way that I call it is the reason that America is collapsing. And this is the reason that we have a rise in the angry, single, broke, sex, sexless, angry male. Because the, once again, you know, to echo some sentiments from that video, they can see success all around them. They can see it, but they cannot participate in the success. They cannot get the accoutrements of the success. And this is a problem. This is a situation, this is really, really bad for America as a whole because of the lack of accessible opportunity. Once again, there is a ton 
of opportunity. There's a there's an opportunity in the NFL to be a starting quarterback on about 15 teams, but you got to have the skill sets to seize that opportunity. And you've got to, because once again, you're going to have um, quarterback camp, you're going to have wide receiver camp, you're going to have the defensive cornerback camp. And unless your parents have the money to send you to these camps, you're not going to make it to D1 NCAA football 10 years from now. We're, what we're going to see is the advantage of wealth, the advantage of privilege, the advantage of perks. Because I made a video a, a long, long time ago talking about, because, you know, my journey on YouTube has changed quite a bit. I had... Um, I forget what it's called, opportunity bias. I felt because I went from being the product of a single mother and doing extremely well financially that anyone could do it. And that mindset has changed. I don't think that upward mobility and success is anywhere as easy as I once did. You're gonna have, because here's one of the things, even though I was brought up by a, I was brought up let me explain something. Even though my mother was not married, I was brought up with a stay at home mother, my grandmother. That gave me a middle class upbringing even though we were poor. And my grandmother, who was a school teacher, taught me to read before I went to school. And if you look at many of the successful people, the Bill Gates, the Elon Musk, the uh, Jeff Bezos, if you look in their background, you would see that they did not come from the dirt. They had systematic advantages early in life, which later reflected into major financial success later in life. And if you look at like Elon Musk, his father owns an emerald mine. Elon Musk did not, was not some little kid in the ghetto. That didn't happen. And as we go along this path, we're going to see more and more people cut out of the framework of success in America, hence the collapse of America. America's not gonna disappear, but we're gonna have a hyper class. We're gonna have a class of extremely successful, extremely financially successful people, and then there's gonna be everyone else. There's not going to be the distinct, broad middle class that we've enjoyed for many, many decades. It's gonna be, you're rich, or you're not. That's where we're going to be. Either you're going to have it, you're going to have resources, access to resources and access to opportunity, or you're not. It's going to be just that black and white. And this is why the most dangerous animal on the planet, the single, broke, sexless, unsuccessful male is about to go on a killing spree because they're going to be very resentful. They're going to be very angry. They're going to be really, really upset with being shut out of the system.